Hello, hello, hello there. Sandile here. Girl is on top of the hill and Karin's on top of the hill. Um, a few um, weeks, probably now. Yeah, I think weeks. Yeah, a few weeks back. Um, I posted a video, a short video with a question asking if I can actually turn my um, backside on the other side of the electric fence into a garden. Uh, well, there weren't many answers, but there was at least one answer that said yes. And I am going to take that answer on. I am going to challenge myself to believe and trust that the person that said yes really saw a possibility and that something can be done there. So now what I'm doing here, I'm carrying my tools and I'm going at the back there and I am going to try and see what I can do in terms of um, clearing and uh, remo removing the grass because there's a lot of grass, there's a lot of rocks as well but the main thing for me now is to get rid of the grass because once the rain season starts, then it will be difficult for me to get rid of that grass. There. So the main thing now is to get rid of the grass and try and sort of like uh, map it out mentally how I am going to place the raised beds and all that so to make it possible. Now let's go check it out and see if really, really it is possible to do it or not. Let's go. Before we go, guys, please... Um, I'm grateful our subscription for our subscribers is sitting at a hundred and sixty sixty six or fifty six something like that and that's very appreciated from the bottom of my heart thank you very much to those who have subscribed but I still plead and ask you let's finish this year with at least 200 subscribers please 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 let's finish this year at least with 200 subscribers so please before you continue watching the video or any of my videos if you are not a subscriber i'm asking you please just hit the subscribe button you will lose nothing but you might gain something from watching the videos hit the like button share your comments there's been quite a, a number of people commenting now which again i appreciate a lot because by you commenting, it also opened my eyes to things that I'm not aware of. I mean, I posted a short where I was set, talking about the snakes, where I was digging the old race bed. And then someone commented and said, that's a, that's a worm snake. I didn't know that there's such a thing. I thought they were just little snakes that are still going to grow big. And I googled it, and boom, really there is something called a worm snake, which is a borrowing uh, snake. And it, 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 it just leaves, it, 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 it remains that much. It doesn't grow any bigger. So by you commenting, I'm learning something. And I appreciate it. Anyway, before I waste much of your time, let's go check out the backside and see what can be done there. Right, let's go, guys. Yes, Moba. Huh? Yeah. See how much uh, organic material I have here that I still to use to put on my race uh, let's, go. let's go. Let's go. Let's go check this out. Mm. Let's go check this out. So you're gonna go through the electric fence. Come on. Fork. Uh, yeah, you see the grass is already growing there. I might win with just a section of it, but I don't think I'll be able to cover the whole the whole thing. But I'll show you where. So this is the whole area. This is the whole area. You can see already the grass is coming back. And this is very stubborn grass. Uh, this is the reason why they pen it, you know, right after penning it, it comes up green like this and then the cows can come and eat. 
but this is the whole area i mean this won't do justice to show you how huge this area is but if i go down here maybe and place my uh tripod there then you can see uh no not down there not down there but this is still my yard but not down there um this yeah up all the way up here from that ridge there those rocks all the way across like that all the way to the um i want to try and put raised beds here so i know what's the possibility of this probably possible probably not but what i will try and do now i'm going to try at the top there at the top there yes that's where i'm gonna try and uh, clear out and see if that um how far we can go with that and with every clearing out so i'll i'll, I'll clear out and then i'll roll the i'll roll the the stone and the sands and the grass down every time i clear i will roll it down so that uh, we, it will come all the way down up to here so it should be like a, like stacks or staircase or whatever i don't know yeah the way i'm thinking of it in my mind but i don't know if that's how it's gonna work but i want to try and make this place here use usable and unfortunately i will have to put a fence from that corner there all the way across to about there so that i prevent the cows from coming and devastating whatever I would be planting here. If I don't put a fence, the raised beds will have to have covers because cows come from down there all the way up here eating grass. So, yeah, well, let's see what can be done. <laughs> This looks like a losing badly. It doesn't look like it's going to be possible. I mean, I haven't even gone that far. I'm already heavily breathing and breathing laboriously tired. Damn this thing. I tell you what, I give what I have and try what I can. It doesn't work, it doesn't work, it's okay. But I think it can work. Let me keep going. Least. remove it remove it i can tell you now i've made so much progress with just that one small area there enough for one race bed that i am encouraged and i can see the possibility of making this turning this rocky uh crazy sloppy area into a driving uh productive garden uh, it will take a lot of work, but it will happen. Let's keep going.
Okay, guys, I think I might just call it a day, you know, I have to take this one day at a time, one day at a time, so if I have, if I can have a target of uh, digging a, a flat space for a raised bed, at least uh, every second day so I give my hands a bit of a rest because I can feel uh, they are about to have blisters <laughs> or oh, every third day um, I mean by the end of this month into August we would have uh, sort of like uh, colonized this space here at least in some sort of a way that we can actually get some activity going here for gardening guys hey hey come on <sighs> you know i love my boys but my boys sometimes yeah okay yeah anyway as i was saying um so now i'm going to show you what i've done and you you can um let me know if you think <laughs> what i'm seeing here is possible or it's, it's not, you know. But yeah, I'll leave it to you to let me know. But I, I'm going to show you what I've done already and yeah, we take it from there. Let's go see this. Yes. Danny, please. Ah. Excuse me, so yeah, this is it. I, I don't know if you, you can see, it's not quite very flat. Uh, but yeah guys uh, as you can see I think I can fit here about two meter by one meter raised bed uh, it's not quite very flat yet but you can see how much um, this is just rocky you know um, you hardly can plant anything here except grass of course that survives in such uh, conditions you know but Yes, so I'm planning to put a raised bed here. And what I'm planning to do is to uh, put a um, hammer down, um, reinforcing bars here. I'll cut reinforcing bars to about uh, 30 centimeters or 50 centimeters and reinforce them across. And I'll get one of the long logs in my uh, the inside the yard and then put it. So that it jams the grass from, uh, not the grass, man, the, the, the soil and the rocks from rolling down. Like I said, I'm going to make this place to be like a step-like. So there will be a raised bed there, a raised bed somewhere down here, you know, all the way down there. So I might have like three raised beds or even four coming all the way up there. But this is the beginning of it and this is how it looks like. And yeah. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Is this possible? Is this going to happen? Um, and then I'm waiting to hear from you. But I think it's possible and I think it can happen. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Um, that's, that's about it from me. I've done what I can with this space uh, as an experiment. And I think it's possible. Yeah, I do think it, it's possible. At first, when I was looking at it and I was starting to dig, I thought, nah, maybe it won't happen. But the more I went on, the more I realized that it is possible and it is doable. So I am going to be colonizing this space one raised bed at a time and will make it happen. It is possible. Okay, guys, Sandy here. The guy who lives on top of the hill, as you can see my hill and gardens on top of the hill i love you guys don't forget to subscribe hit the like button comment 
share the video uh, there's a sunset behind me um, yeah and uh, that would be appreciated from me and my boys Danny and Ngoba there they are they are always where there is hey stop fighting you know we're not fighting okay we're just talking and playing okay all right now you are not tell um the people that you are out we are out who is out me and Ngoba. who are you Mdeni and Ngoba. Mdeni and Ngoba are out there we go I'm not out. oh Ngoba is not out anyway guys you heard it from the two little ones we are out this is the back side of our yard of our house our yard goes all the one all the way down to the rail line so we will be colonizing the space here making it um productive and by doing that we will also stop all these fires that come up all the way here i don't mind the fire stopping down there on those ridge there on those rocks there but i don't want the fire up here anyway before this video is like two hours long, I am out. Love you.